I don't know how well you guys have watched Julian Goche's game. Um, yeah, and there's a lot of talk about him when he came over of no one can really figure out what his game is. He's got good size. He's got speed. Um, but you can see there's something there, but you can also see that he just can't figure out, I guess, how to put it all together. And maybe I'm wrong. Uh, Yorkie, what do you think of his game? Well, I watched pretty closely last night, and I think uh, TSN did a pack on him, all the breakaways he's had. What's he had, like four yeah. or five breakaways and hasn't been able to cash in? So he's getting he's getting looks. He's getting opportunities. He's a big guy. I will say this. When you're playing the amount of minutes he's playing, it's really tough. It's It's really tough to be a difference maker in the game because – all those power plays, you're not getting on the power play, you're not on the penalty kill, so you're on the third or the fourth line, and you're a guy that's supposed to maybe provide some offense. You got to be really fortunate. I'm not going to say lucky. You got to be really fortunate to cash in on your chances because you're only going to get so many opportunities. And he's got them, but he hasn't scored. So I think there's something there. But he, like anybody, you ask any yeah. player, it's really tough to play limited minutes and be a difference maker in the game. So the guys that can do it, they forge a career out of it in the NHL, and they become energy guys. To me, he's not an energy guy. I watch him play. Yeah. He's not an energy guy. He's a guy that probably, if he's going to play his best, he's parked out in the slot on your second power play. He's um, he's like your your seventh forward, a guy that you, you're going to use for some offense. But I just I don't see him as an effective fourth liner. I just... I, and, and maybe he's a tweener, yeah. and that's the thing. There's there's a ton of tweeners floating around in the hockey universe that scored and are great players, but for some reason, when they got their opportunities, they just didn't cash in. So I think there's something there, but I just look at the way Ottawa's made up. They've got so many guys that can score. He's going to have to figure out that he's got to bring, like when he, he's got to run around. He's got to finish every single hit. He's got to... Yeah play that way and then hopefully somebody gets hurt down the road for him and he gets an opportunity to get on the power play yeah yeah that's yeah i was just gonna say that uh, under under nine is hard man. 844 you never, yeah. yeah you, you never catch a like flow this. no and no. Hey, you know bobby, what bobby I... think about this bobby hold on think about this and if you've ever played a game where you've played under 10 minutes your heart rate goes up to 170 you go sit on the bench, you go down this to 80, and you and then you get on the ice and you always feel exhausted. Like it's it's yeah. so, yeah. so tough to play. Jello legs, right? Your leg your legs never get into it. You never find a rhythm. Your low back stiffens up because you're just grocery sticking for periods of time uh, between the forwards and the D. You're like, you just you, you cannot you yeah, you know, you're bookending, right? <laughs> but you can't get into a rhythm. Um yeah. I actually like his game. I would agree that a seventh forward was exactly where I would have him. Um, pegged if he's going to be successful in the NHL. And you know what? I I saw the one the other night where he, he had to catch up to the puck a little bit, and then he tried to go backhand five hole. Not sure, like go right handed guys cannot you cannot score five hole um a lot on the backhanded side. So he's got that long reach. I would just love to see him get real comfortable at coming in and shooting low glove. Right, keep a goalie frozen. Um, with the ability to know that you can go to your backhand to try to beat him because of that long reach. But I'd really like to see him get comfortable with that shot because I think he could score on that shot with, with, with the, you know, the reach. He's got the ability to move that puck from side to side. Um, so, but that, that, that comes with time and experience um, developing that. But I, I, do, that, like, I do like – I'm a fan of his game. I like the way he plays. I just don't know if he's going to ever be in a situation in Ottawa – that elevates him to where he's going to be. He's behind guys that are draft picks, are core players. Um, so, you know, he, yes, you, he kind of right. looks he's like Zach get, Sanford. Got to get lucky. <laughs> Zach okay. Sanford. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Good. Yeah. yeah he's good just got a right, find... big guy. Yeah. He just yeah. he's it's... just soft and and he's not playing like no one really knows what he is. Yeah, it's, and I, I'm sure he's trying yeah. to figure it out himself, right? Where do I fit in here, and what's going to make me successful to stay here? And um, he's going to have to, like, he's going to have to run around, and he's going to have to have some puck luck. That's just the way it goes when you're a guy that's in that bubble spot. It's a hard spot to be. It's a really hard spot to be in if you're that player too. Oh, it's tough. So tough. Um, so tough. Bobby Ryan played 19 games, less than 10 minutes uh, in the games, and I don't know which ones are injuries or not. 
but I can tell you, you had a total of one assist in 19 games. <laughs> under that many minutes, minutes? Under how many minutes? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Under yeah. 10 minutes tonight. Oh, actually, I should say that... <laughs> I left a lot of games with hands, so. <laughs> well, that's that's why I'm yeah. like they may all be yeah. hand injuries. I'm not sure. There's this is, probably this quite, is the, I, would, uh, I would let's just say half. Let's just say half are hand injuries, and the other half are like, yeah, I need a hot tub. So, <laughs> you know what? Yeah. It's it's anything below five, <laughs> which is one, two. There's four games below five. No, five. I would assume those are all hand injuries. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah those it, are the it, games you leave it, after it, a couple it, of periods. It is a real skill. It is a real skill to be able to play under 10 minutes a night and be effective because it is. anyone that's ever sat, I, anyone yeah. that's, so think about this, Bob and Wally, anybody, we've all, obviously Bobby and I, Wally, you've been ice level um, as well, Wally. The game is so friggin' fast. So mm -hmm. why do guys play better when they're playing all the time? Cause you're into it. You're in rhythm. You're, you're not, you're not stopping and sitting on the bench because when you do, man, it is, that's why I have so much respect for guys that um, even the fighters that were playing like three Watson. minutes a game. Like, yeah, and he's effective when he goes out there. Why? Because it yeah. takes a while to perfect that art and, and sit there and get the legs going. You see the guys on the bench, too. You can see when the coach calls their number, they get up and they start dancing around on the bench, shaking their legs because the legs are yep. they're asleep. So it's uh, yep. a lot of respect for those guys.